Hey everyone, Tactics here, finishing up my trio of videos covering the recently announced hero talent trees for tank specs with the Colossus Warrior for protection and arms. I already have videos for the Elune's Chosen Guardian tree as well as the Templar Prot Paladin tree. If you want to check those out, links in the description below over on my channel. And I'll be continuing to cover all things War Within through the Alpha and Beta cycles. So make sure you are subscribed to the channel with notifications on so you don't miss a video. With that said, Let's just get right into it here and it looks like they're getting a new cooldown as their keystone talent here in demolish so it's a 45 second cooldown uh, kind of matches the whole warrior vibe they have a lot of short cooldowns already i know you don't currently get them all uh with ravager uh spear of bastion avatar that kind of stuff and of course avatar cdr so getting another one i mean that's that's a lot of like short cd buttons uh, we'll have to see. I mean, it's it's approaching the territory of button bloat, I feel. They just they have a lot of short CD buttons already, at least from a prot's perspective, which is what I'm kind of addressing this as. So interesting choice here. Actually, one thing I do want to emphasize right off the top here, uh, before I get too far into it, this is actually so huge. So they've put a note here because apparently there's some shockwave notes uh, nodes in this talent tree, and they're saying the warrior tree will be updated in the war within to make shockwave more accessible via the class talents. Currently, it's a capstone talent. Actually, I can I can pull it up for you guys right here as well because yeah, the warrior tree is definitely something that I've not been a huge fan of. Uh, just uh, I mean in general, like here's shockwave these points. I mean, they were like really overtuned on beta where like you were using shockwave on cooldown for damage and then did weird things with, like stun DRs and stuff like that. Now it's like really only prot, I think, takes shockwave because um, I mean, it's competing with spear uh, champion spears, not spear bastion, thunderous roar, avatar, right? Like this is a very, very damage heavy competitive bottom area of their tree. Why is shockwave down here? So it's good. It's finally getting moved out of here. Uh, Hoping for some other things for Warriors too. You know, why does Rally not get a boost in five-man content like other raid CDs? Why is their Incorporal um, dealing ability a three-minute cooldown when there's a 45-second one right there? But I'm not going to get into that. I'm not. I promise. I'm not, not going to talk about that stuff in this video. We're talking about Colossus. So they get a 45-second CD. You deal damage to uh, targets and enemies within eight yards. So uncapped AoE. Uh, and you can still block parry and dodge so it's going to be a channel then okay so it's a channel 45 second cd uncapped aoe that's pretty nice pretty nice ability moving down critical strike damage increased by 10 percent amount you uh block by critical blocks increased by 10 percent just a little crit node in the middle here mortal strike and shield slam grant a stack of colossal might colossal might increases damage dealt by demolish by 10 percent stacks up to five times demolish consumes it so basically you're going to build these stacks up super fast because like it, again you, you shield slam so often like you'll you'll have this within like 10 to 15 seconds you'll be at max stacks here so every demolish is basically going to be a, a max stack demolish so it's just going to be 50 percent more damage uh over here shockwave sun duration increased by two seconds okay that's that is big for mythic plus for raid this pretty much means nothing uh because, I mean, you don't really use Shockwave in Raid. But as a utility node, that's a, a four-second stun, right? Yeah, it's already two seconds. So it's a four-second stun on a 40-second cooldown. That's very good AoE stops uh, in a dungeon scenario. That That's really nice. Uh, Earthquaker, Shockwave also knocks enemies into the air, and its cooldown is reduced by five seconds. Uh, I feel like you'd mostly just take bone shaker because a four second sounds crazy i guess this makes it so that it doesn't matter if mobs are stunned yard because it's now a knock up in the stop so if you have a lot of aoe stuns in your comp and you're like well we don't really care about shockwave you could take this and have an extra knock up stop but it seems that seems exceptionally niche i feel like you just pretty much always take bone shaker unless it functions differently who knows uh, moving down here, another choice note on the left side. So Shockwave, Cleave, Whirlwind, and Revenge deal 5% more damage per target. Affected up to 5, so 25% more damage from those abilities. If you have 5 mobs around you, that's a pretty nice damage boost. Uh, or Colossal Might increases the damage of Rend and Deep Wounds by 2% per stack. So it's going to be 10% damage on Rend and Deep Wounds, which I mean you're going to have full uptime on uh, no matter what. Uh, this, at least at first glance, feels like it's going to be the better one. 
uh, hard to say at least in single target of course this, this definitely is going to be better than this one maybe if you're constantly doing something in like the four to six target range this is potentially really really good but i mean rend and deep wounds do a decent amount of damage in those target ranges anyways so i, I i'm leaning towards this one here but uh i mean they're both just kind of passive damage increases this gives you a little bit more uh damage in that five target scenario specifically but this will give you more probably outside of that like four to six target range my guess like below and above it probably does more so uh, i'm guessing this this one seems pretty nice moving to the middle colossal might increase the damage of overpowering revenge okay so there's a further revenge boost here uh, uh to damage okay more damage there uh and again you're gonna be gaining these stacks so quickly right like you'll so you'll be at max stacks for a decent amount of time before you reset it and then you'll be able to build up max stacks again super quickly so um that's you're gonna be getting a you know max power on on these colossal might stacking uh buffs for a significant portion of the time right side here total damage prevented by ignore pain increased by 15 percent so ignore pain is i believe it's a 50 percent right yeah so it's 50 percent of damage taken right now so that moves it up to 65 percent i can see that being good for prot i can see that being good for prot because there's a lot of times where you are you know capped on ignore pain and you lose a little bit but don't use lose enough and so you can just you just over cap on ignore pain so this potentially uh, can help with that and also just you know it's a bigger dr essentially right it's absorbing 65 percent of damage instead of 50 percent in damage which is pretty nice um the other option here is taking damage is a low chance to give you a second wind for two seconds six percent health every one second so that would give you 12 percent health healing that's actually very good too so depends on the low chance here i feel like obviously dps words would probably just take this right but as a prompt warrior it's an interesting choice because this is solid 100 this is solid right getting a moving up your ignore pain from 50 percent damage prevention to 65 percent, especially if you're over capping a lot on ignore pains it would help with that and give you more value from your ignore pains but warrior's big thing is like preventing damage from happening in the first place they don't really heal it back up well right like they have the ignore pain on top of their health bar they have perma block that kind of thing their self-healing is not great they have like indomitable which is rage spent gives them a little bit of, of max healing here um but again if that's if that's just 12 percent max health they'd have to spend over a rage bar to actually get that much healing from indomitable uh, and they just get that in a two second window i know a lot of warriors also like to take pain and gain which is another form of like this passive ticking healing it's going to depend on the proc chance because this is not like relatively consistent obviously a proc warrior is going to be getting hit a lot more right so if they can get a decent amount of procs in these over the course of the pull i can see it being good but obviously it lacks control and that's a big problem for tanks having control and knowing your damage intake and that kind of thing is super super important especially in high-end content and so this is just way more consistent for prop warriors but i can see both being valuable right it, just depending on proc rate of this and that, that would give warriors another source of self-healing which would be nice too so i i really like this choice note actually i think it's good uh moving down here practice strikes just a flat 15 percent damage boost to mortal strike and shield slam okay another damage boost uh true might mortal strike and shield slam crits grant an additional stack of colossal uh might okay uh you must be getting more oh yeah there you're getting more stacks okay i was gonna say there's you already are going to stack this so insanely fast that doesn't matter uh but i mean yeah you're gonna stack it even faster now once it goes down but i'll i'll, I'll read that talent in a second um the other final uh talent here before the capstone you deal five percent more damage and take 2.5 percent less damage size increased by five percent it'll be bigger this is just uh you know in the damage and defensive node i i wish this number was like your size is increased by five percent per stack of colossal might would that be crazy you'd just be giant you'd build up you'd be giant you'd cast your demolish and then you'd shrink again and you'd build up your size again that would be sick just a flat five percent though i mean it's that's that's okay i guess uh but here's the capstone so colossal might now stacks to 10 right so that means that you'll get up to a total of a hundred percent increased damage on this demolish it means if you take arterial bleed it'll be 20 percent more rend and deep wounds damage 20 percent more overpower and revenge damage that's a lot 
Um, if you would gain a stack of Colossal Might and are at max stacks, the cooldown of Demolish the Roost by two seconds. Okay. So yeah, you are going to, you're going to get these stacks super quick. Um, I don't know, like, like Prop Warrior, I mean, you just, you just rip your buttons on cooldown kind of, right? That's kind of how Prop Warrior functions. Obviously being able to push Demolish and Avatar is always going to be nice. Um, I assume... You'll still be able to do that. It kind of depends uh, how much CDR you get. Like you need to have 10 shield slam casts and crits will give you an additional. It's interesting, but I'm not sure they really care. I mean, I'm not sure they really need CDR in this like new ability. It's just, it doesn't seem to do that much on its own, right? Just a big damn, damn doer. So, I mean, like, I'm sure it's fine, Um, but Cause I feel like 45 seconds is already kind of like where you're syncing it up a bit with avatar better. And if you reduce it too far below that, you're now not going to be able to use it with avatar or you're just going to have to hold it for avatar, in which case the cooldown reduction is not great. So eh, the cooldown reduction is, is a little weird. I think especially cause it's such a low CD ability anyways. And like, you're going to need like, you know, seven, eight casts of shield slam to actually build up the stacks. And that'll, you know, take you 20 seconds, maybe. 15 seconds if you're lucky uh and so that's already you know half the cooldown of the ability so yeah it's it's okay i i like the stacking up to 10 i'm not sure i like the cdr uh, on top of this while well, channeling demolish you are grounded making you immune to stuns and effects that move you i mean that's nice so you don't uh accidentally i mean you're gonna get hit by ground effects probably like fearless axe right this is this is the vibe i'm getting from this ability the fearless legendary axe channel thing um but I guess at least uh, it doesn't have a cast time. So maybe it's reduced by haste as well, which would be nice. But uh, it's uh, making you immune to, uh, you know, stuns and things that move you. I guess that's, that's a nice little quality of life thing. I guarantee some DPS warriors are just going to pop this and just eat eat some frontal or something like that. It's going to be good. But uh, yeah, overall, I don't know how I feel about this one. It seems a little bland. There's a lot of these just like pure passive nodes here, right? uh the colossal might thing it has some potential this ability seems super boring i don't know like it's just damage right it's just a channel damage ability i and and warriors like i'm like warriors have so many short cd abilities they got avatar thunderous roar champion spear and obviously again you can't get all three right now but like they've got they've got uh, you know prot has shield charge as well which is kind of in that rotation of these like abilities that have like medium length cooldowns that you kind of like layer and use and stuff like that is they, do they need another one i'm not 100 percent sure and maybe this is just because i i don't really see the fantasy of colossus here but i'm a i'm a big fan of the lightning and thunder stuff and mountain thane so maybe that's that's swaying my decision here but i don't know i i'm not sure i'm feeling the vibe of this tree i don't think it's necessarily super weak or anything there's some cool talents in here right like i think i think colossal might has uh, especially with the 10 stacks and the ability to increase your damage and stuff it has the cool fantasy it would be sick if your size increased with colossal might stacks though uh that, that would be sick i think this is a really good choice node this one's a little weird but it's nice to have shockwave b four seconds right but i don't know i don't know i'm just not feeling this one i would love to know what you guys think though you guys a fan of colossus uh were you hoping for something else what are your thoughts between this and mountain thane let me know down in the comments below and remember subscribe for more content like this leading up to the war within release big thanks goes out to all of my patrons your support really means a lot otherwise thanks everyone so much for watching and i'll see you all in the next video